I think that it's an open question about what happens in Iran next, but I want to zoom out for a second. And I just want to say that the two lessons from the Trump administration seem to be that America doesn't keep its word and that you are much better off with nuclear weapons. Wasn't the word, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because last time I checked, the word was, if you hurt an American, yeah. you're going to have hell here's, to pay. And that's here's exactly the, here's the what thing. he did. Here's, here's the difference I, between Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Barack Obama drew a red line in Syria and didn't enforce it. Donald Trump drew a red line to the Iranians. He said, if you kill a single American, you will pay a price, and he enforced it. Yeah. De Barack Obama dismissed ISIS as the JV team. Donald Trump took away their caliphate. Donald, de, de, de Barack Obama gave the Iranians $150 billion to spread terror across the Middle East. Donald Trump has squeezed them and taken away their ability to do that, and he took out Soleimani. That, the, the world is safer today because he has rolled yeah. back I'm gonna, I'm gonna the disastrous Iran The last word deal. here, because I gave Mark the first. Go ahead, YJ, and then we got Go. I'm just going to say that countries are going to look at the attack on Soleimani and they're going to think this never would have happened if Iran had nuclear weapons. And the contrast between how President Trump kowtows to the North Koreans versus how he is behaving in regard to Iran sends a clear signal to countries around the world that they are better off if they have nuclear weapons. And I think it's something we should be very concerned about. Yeah. Well, President uh, Obama did say, gee, North Korea is the thing I'm the most worried about um, on the way out the door. So uh, <laughs> we'll see where all this goes. YJ, thank you very much. Thanks, Mark Martha. Thiessen, thank you as always as well. Thank